Hey guys, what is up? It's IP here, back again today with another gaming video. Granted, it's not like a, you know, survival game and whatnot, but I figured I would uh, go ahead and show off some stuff that I've been messing with for the past couple hours because, because why not? And so today, we're going to be looking at some JC3 stuff, and for starters, for those of you who might have played Just Cause in the past, you might be wondering, wow, your game looks different. And well, that's exactly what I'm here to show off. So basically, if you guys know what like uh, like what Sweet FX is, it's similar to that. It's a program called or like a like an F FX injector called Reshade that basically can do things like inject color correction and in like more types of like filters, anti-aliasing, like doing lens flares and doing all sorts of little minute changes like depth of field and stuff like that is that is directly injected into the executable and like into the game so it's not just like an overlay or anything like that and then on top of that you can actually toggle it in game so for those of you who are curious here we go here here's this dank ass view and then boom that's what your game normally looks like that's that's that and then you turn that back on and boom there you go so as you'll notice some of the stuff it does for this is it tends to um, turn down the saturation a tiny bit there's a little bit less color like it, it change or I shouldn't say it turns it down it changes it like it's it does a little bit of color correction because in certain aspects the colors are a lot more pronounced when it's uh, when the effect is on and when it's off than when it's off but it tends to uh, have that sort of effect um, since the normal game is very vibrant and colorful which is good because I like that but I felt like doing something different, so I have this now. And then on top of that, it does things like cr like creating some lens flaring effects. It sort of overexposes uh, light sources and stuff like that, so reflections and things are super bright. And um, some of you might not like that, obviously, because obviously uh, there are certain games that have had issues with that in the past, like fucking Battlefield 3, anyone? <laughs> you constantly get lens flare, but not when you aim down the sights. Anyways... Um, but yeah, so, I don't know, I kind of have always liked the sort of hyper-realistic feeling in video games, and so, this sort of thing is right up my alley, but as you can see, when we came- Oh, fuck you, Rico. Fuck you. But as we came out of that tunnel, it was very, like, like the- It was extremely bright on the other side and stuff, and it's- it's just- it's kind of cool. What- what- what you doing? What- what you doing, mate? Ha. Really? No reaction? Nothing? I'm pointing a f massive shotgun at you and you just you just don't care. You just don't care at all. But yeah, so another thing I felt like I'd throw in there real quick is I actually have a little mod that basically enables, uh, like it increases your texture memory size or like the, the size that the game is allowed to use. I should say it basically increases it or it doubles the amount of texture memory that it's allowed to do which increases LOD so typically what would happen in this game especially this was a problem if you had um, mods that increased your grapple range a lot um, obviously you couldn't grapple to things in the distance like that for example because in reality that as much as you were like seeing that object it didn't physically exist in the game well with this mod you can face plant into anything at any distance now um, it basically makes it so your render distance or like the LOD distance and what actually exists in your game is a lot further out and the performance hit is pretty minimal. I will admit that with the, uh, the reshade mod, the, all those like effects and overlay or not overlays, but, uh, filters or whatever you want to call them, that has a significant performance hit, like 20 FPS difference. Um, so obviously if you don't have a decent PC, you probably shouldn't do that. I mean, I'm not going to lie when I'm running this at full 25, 60 by 1080 on my ultra wide right now, I'm running it at 1080p and I'm recording at 1080p and I'm r hovering around 60 to 70 FPS. But when I have it at the full resolution of my monitor, it does drop below that, but honestly, it's not terrible. It's not unbearable. So I really enjoy it. It's fun. And I'm running on a... I am fucking this shit up today. Like, goddamn, dude. Goddamn. So I'm running this on my, like, 1080p, or at 1080p in a window. Thank God for the beta version of Shadowplay. So, yeah. But one of the things I've noticed with this, with this mod is it seems like they've done something with 
perhaps like some more antroscopic filtering or how antroscopic I don't I don't know how to say that word because uh, certain textures especially like rock textures look very clear like they're very sharp and it looks absolutely fantastic there could be some sort of sharpening filter because I know certain games do have that sort of option this game does not but it uh, it definitely looks fucking fantastic like the rocks look massively improved as you can see like here we'll flip it off there flip it back on they're very much more pronounced there might be some more ambient occlusion in there I know there is a special version of uh, like some sort of depth of field that it adds so they recommend you turning off the in-game depth of field so that you're not seeing a ridiculous performance hit and so they don't sort of uh, contradict each other or not so much contradict but uh, you know cause problems so yeah, it looks absolutely phenomenal. You see those lens flares up in the clouds. You turn that off and it goes away. So you can see the difference there. Looks absolutely fucking fantastic. Another thing to note that uh, while the Just Cause 3 mod site has a lot of shit on it, a lot of the stuff with current versions of the game does not work or do not work. A lot of the mods don't work, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. Um, I was trying to get some like tether mods to work and stuff like that but it seems like a lot of the mod creators don't update their mods as the game is being patched and a lot of the patches do break current mods which is unfortunate obviously that's not the case for a lot of stuff as well like this one specifically I would guess it's because it sort of wires itself directly into the DirectX 11 renderer so that's definitely like a bonus um, another thing I'll, I'll put links in the description to the mods that I'm running right now Another thing to note when you like say go to install this mod, you'll have to do it manually. You cannot use the mediator, I think the mod calls it. It's like an auto installer, but it does not work. Um, and you'll have to use you'll have to manually install it. It doesn't take very much effort, to be honest. Of course it, it took a little more effort for me because I had to figure out that I couldn't use the mediator, figure out that didn't work, and then go back and install it manually. But it is also a 64-bit uh game so you'll have to install the 64-bit version of reshade so just little things to keep in mind there again it doesn't make that much of a difference it's just like dragging one file instead of another and they're both included in the same download so i think the yeah the downloads are around like 20 megabytes so it really doesn't make that much of a difference but yeah see there you go color correction man lens effects damn looks fucking gorgeous anyways guys Hope you guys enjoyed today's fucking shitty ass video. If you guys like this sort of thing, like if you like graphics mods and stuff like that, and if you in particular like this one, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. If you didn't like it, you could let me know too. You could tell me why you didn't like it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.